The facts behind fentanyl's lethal rise among Americans. The New York Times. Fentanyl has become a leading cause of death in the United States, an issue on the presidential camp. Ain Trail and the subject of major diplomatic efforts by the Biden administration. As Secretary of State Antony Blinken and other top administration officials traveled to Mexico this past week, in part to discuss strategies to stop the flow of fentanyl across the border, here are so me key facts about a drug that is lowering U.S. life expectancy and playing a role in the nation's politics. Sign up. Below are your comments. Until the demand for drugs is lessened the criminals will sell the stuff. Not much written about how to lessen the demand. Too many Americans cannot deal with modern living and prefer the fog of drugs to reality. Thinning the herd. Made in Mexico with chemicals made in China. The war on drugs has been a failure since 1971 and will continue to fail because the demand for drug S makes it too profitable. I am a chronic pain patient. I'm the real deal. I don't take opiates to get high. I take opiates to be able to function in the simplest ways in life. And there are a lot of people just like me. But I am lucky that I actually get opiates from a doctor and dispensed through a pharmacy. But a lot of page. It is no coincidence that as the medical establishment moved far away from the open prescription drew G policies of the 1990s and early 2000s that patients moved to illicit drugs like fentanyl. Look at our inner city streets, 109,000 people died in 2022 from drug overdoses. No mental health care. Seems like a lot of it is a simple matter of supply and demand. As long as Americans are demanding illegal drugs, someone will supply them. People choose drugs for many reasons, I doubt if we'll solve all those issues. Next news. Jim Jordan feels, very good, about his odds of being elected the next House Speaker. Here's why. USA. Today. From conservative hardliners to moderates to former President Donald Trump, Rep. Jim Jordan, R. Ohio, says he has a lot of support to be House Speaker. Below are your comments. No member of the Freedom Caucus or far-right, ultra-conservative members should be elected to the SP. Eker's post. The moderates need to take a page from their right-leaning colleagues and use the influence they we. LD to get a more moderate speaker. Anything the far-right conservatives might pass is. If he wins we will be worse off than we were before. I hope the moderates, if there truly are any, will prevail against him. The crazy reason why I agree with Jim Jordan chances is because Trump's Republican Party will do Eve. Right thing to get the most corrupt political criminal whose only agenda is to create chaos and mayhem. Dot dot dot. Muddy the water as much as possible so Trump can present himself as the one who can prevent the circa. Dot. Jordan is the perfect fit for Speaker of the House.
The only things he lacks are ethics, honesty and integrity. While that is much less than America needs or deserves, it seems to suit Republicans to AT. It is simple why he feels good. Started practice in his college days. He has a loud mouth. They want a loud mouth. He makes no sense. They want nonsense. Has no experience. They want no experience. He doesn't dress for professional appearance. They want to knock Fetterman for his choice of. Next news. Transcript. Representative Nancy Mace on Face the Nation, October 8, 2023. CBS News. The following is a transcript of an interview with Rep. Nancy Mace, Republican of South Carolina, that aired on Face the Nation on October 8, 2023. Below are your comments. Mace is a direct product of gerrymandering. The GOP intentionally removed a significant number of black from her district to ensure she would GE. T elected. The courts found that the GOP violated the Voting Rights Act. Her district will now include those disenfranchised voters and it is not likely th. Anyone who says Jim Jordan would be a great leader hasn't been paying attention to what he's been due. In the last two years, none of which has been of any benefit whatsoever to the American public. Not a single bill. Nothing positive. Just attack dog noise. She's an independent voice all right, independently for herself. How quickly these young politicians learn how to lie, how to double talk, and how to never answer a question. They don't even converse or interview like a normal person would, that's how you know they've been bitten by the power bug. At one time I had hope respect and hope for Mace. After today and her statements for not knowing anything especially about Jim Jordan. Hope and respect are all gone. Mace. Yeah, I'm not familiar or aware with that. He's not indicted on anything that I'm aware of. And so I don't I don't know anything and I can't speak to that. But, I will say that I have been, as you said Margaret. Next news. That's not going to happen. GOP lawmaker says Donald Trump won't be Speaker of the House. USA Today. Republican Rep. Ken Buck who voted to oust House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, vowed that former President Donald Trump W. won't become the new Speaker. Below are your comments. The far-right Republicans are under the impression that they have some kind of leverage. They control one-third of government right now, the other two-thirds are controlled by the Democrats. So to get anything done requires some kind of negotiation. If they fail to do that, the country will suffer. It shouldn't happen, and we have a lot of talent inside the house, he said. We'll settle this inside the House Republican Conference, and we will elect someone who'll have the 
unity and the backing of the full conference. If that were the case, why did it take 15 tries to get a speaker in the five? Ken Buck says they got a lot of talented people inside the house. Lol so talented it took McCarty a record 15 tries to become speaker the longest in history. Now the GOP still can't even figure out if they are coming or going. But hey they do know how to give tax breaks to the wealthy that never trail. Trump wasn't, isn't qualified to be president, but people chose to ignore that obvious flaw. Why not install him into another position for which he lacks qualifications? It's the Republican way. Next news. California Governor Gavin Newsom vetoes bill aimed at limiting the price of insulin. Associated Press. Gavin Newsom has vetoed a bill that would have stopped insurance companies from charging more than $1.35 for insulin. The bill would have banned health plans and disability insurance policies from imposing any out of p pocket expenses on insulin prescription drugs above $35 for a 30-day supply. Newsom, a Democrat, said earlier this year that California would soon start making its own brand of insulin. Below are your comments. So when manufacturers of insulin were faced with the state mandating cost reductions on insulin, th. EY saw the light and reduced the costs on their own? Sounds like they are just bidding time while enjoying the profit while they can. Even $30 is too much for many, particularly seniors or disabled on fixed incomes. My concern is that the CA drug company is going to produce lesser quality insulin. That could hurt a lot of diabetics. Thankfully, I don't use insulin but I feel for those who are dependent on it. Anyone who thinks Newsom is going to make their life better with his policies hasn't been paying at. Enshin. Come on. Protect your senior citizens. We need this help now. Do not veto this legislation just take it away when CalRx is ready. Take the governor to task on this one. Next news. Will Matt Gates be kicked out of Congress for ousting Kevin McCarthy? He says it would be worth it. USA Today. GOP Rep. Matt Gates said ousting former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was worth it, even if he's ostracized by his fellow Republicans or loses his job. Below are your comments. I'm positive that Matt Gates will be ousted by the GOP. His goal was not legislating but disrupting and causing chaos. His latest stunt to remove Kevin McCarthy was a political move for his run for governor of Florida. Which will backfire. Having disagreements with your fellow congresspersons is a daily occurrence, but having a vindictive e and destructive attitude to your members in office has no place in government. Based on those reasons, Matt Gates should step down and relinquish his seat as an elected member of the GOP. The GOP's chances of recovering are very remote, but are non-existent if people like Matt Gates and Jim Jordan are not removed from the House.
that is just the start to recovery, as all the members whose entire focus is on their own re-electio n must also be replaced with better educated people wit. If you lose your job will it be worth it? Welker acts again, before Gates responded, absolutely. So, let's give him what he wants. High school never really ends. It just moves on to other venues. Next news. Fearing third-party spoilers versus Trump, Biden allies try to squash them. The New York Times. Washington. Powerful allies of President Joe Biden are aggressively working to stop third-party and independent presidential candidacies, fearing that an outside bid could cost Democrats an election that many bell. Eve will again come down to a few percentage points in key battleground states. As attempts to mount outside campaigns multiply, a broad coalition has accelerated a multi-pronged as sue to starve such efforts of financial and political support and warn fellow Democrats that supo rting below are your comments. A strong third party with a dynamic candidate who favors non-extremist beliefs, either right or left, would be wonderful. We need something new in Washington. What we have now is not working. George Washington was right political parties are more about themselves than the good of the USA. Ah, the fear among the power elites is palpable that real democracy might actually break out. Dot. Gephardt warned that third-party candidates threatened not only Biden's chances of victory but also the stability of American democracy. This kind of unfair hyperbolic statements, suggesting that Democrats' party is the only guarantor of American democracy may cause more attrition than gain to Dem. Next news. Transcript. Senator Tim Scott on Face the Nation, October 8, 2023. CBS News. The following is a transcript of an interview with Sen. Tim Scott, Republican of South Carolina and 2024 GOP presidential hopeful, that aired on Face the Naw. Tion on October 8, 2023. Below are your comments. So it seems from this transcript that Tim Scott had spoken a lot of words all streamed together, but managed to basically not say anything at all, which seems to be his mo thus far. Politicians that sit atop the fence, throwing daggers at one side, and not having any opinion on the other side is no. This would have been a good opportunity for Scott to talk with detail about his own policy positions, or what would make him a more preferable candidate. He did neither of these things. In fairness, he does seem to be pretty proficient in spitting out talking points that have no explanation. Scott H. So Scott, like many other R's, the MAGA crowd and anything anti-democracy want to complain about is the price of gas. All one has to do is Google what the price of gas was in the late 70s and again in 2008 when Bush, an oilman, was president and you will learn that it was more in both actual cost. Next news. Verified accounts spread fake news release about a Biden $8 billion aid package to Israel. NBC News.
A doctored White House news release posted online falsely claimed that the Biden administration had authorized $8 billion in emergency aid to Israel on Saturday. Below are your comments. One of my problems is that if it sounds too good to be true it probably is not true. I check things out, do research rather than accepting at blind face what someone says or writes. My eyes, ears, and mind are wide open. I am wide awake and able to see beyond the tip of my nose. It appears that the right believes that lies and horrible ideas should be treated equally with other ideas or truthful statements. Free speech allows them to say what they want but media companies are not obligated to amplify lies and bigoted ideas. Free speech doesn't mean all speech is equal. We had a president and a state media apparatus that put a tremendous amount of time and energy into demonizing the press, a vaunted institution with a tremendous track record for integrity and accuracy. ACY. And he, they did this to create a path for them to manipulate their base with a laundry list of. Oh. Next news. Mace announces support for Jim Jordan as speaker. The Hill. Nancy Mace, RSC, announced Sunday that she intends to support Rep. Jim Jordan's R. Ohio bid for speaker, following her vote last Tuesday to remove former speaker Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, from his post. I will tell you today, I am going to be supporting Jim Jordan for speaker for a number of reasons. Mace said. Below are your comments. So basically she supports the man who had a hand in January 6. She supports the man who defied a lawful subpoena. She supports the man targeting prosecutors who are rightfully and legally prosecuting Trump. That says a lot about her. Did she really say Jordan has values? She is the perfect fit for that party. Jordan should be deported to some place far away, like Jordan. That guy is not stable. He would spend his whole time causing chaos and dysfunction. He would like nothing better to get nothing done and spend all his time doing never-ending hearings about Hunter Biden's laptop. If this is the bees, her support is for number 45. Another member of the radical right takes her mask off. Next news. Israel attacks spark outrage from GOP presidential candidates. CBS News. Several Republican candidates criticized President Biden for a recent prisoner swap with Iran. Below are your comments. These weak Republicans are the reason why our adversaries believe they can get bold against us. All the GOP cares about is fighting amongst itself to see who can be the bigger lip service freak to. Donald when what they need to be doing is working with the Democrats to pass actual legislation. Dot. It was GOP initiated, and took, both sides, to emasculate Congress, and now the only duty the acting Speaker of the House can legally do, is gavel in and gavel out the next election for Speaker. He cannot even release a official congressional statement.
Both sides are complicit in leaving us total. I agree, finish them. This is sickening. Name one thing that Biden has done for this country. His whole existence centers around lying, che. Aiding and stealing to build massive wealth for himself and his family. The Dems look the other wa. Why? Because they hate Trump and Americans. Next news. Government Newsom vetoes bill banning caste discrimination in the workplace, housing and beyond. LA Times. The decision, highly watched by the South Asian community, came on day 33 of a hunger strike by Dolly. T activists backing the civil rights legislation. Below are your comments. This bill was created for a problem that doesn't exist. It was poorly written and hastily pushed forward without input from all the people who could be potentially targeted by this bill. We have several laws in place to prevent discrimination. There is no caste discrimination in California and has never been. The American experiment is supposed to place all men as created equal. We can't have that if people who left India from its brutal caste system that prejudges people based on birth come here to discover that members of the dominant class will still exert oppression over T. Hem through denying them Joe. Looks like the upper caste has more money to donate to Newsom than those of a lower caste. Money has more influence than hunger strikes. Who could have guessed? Dot. Next news. Israel vows to destroy Hamas after deadly attack, several Americans dead. CBS News. President Biden spoke to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and pledged his full support to T. He Israeli government, the White House said. Below are your comments. I'd say go directly to the source and take out Iran forever before dealing with Hamas. I guess, Patton, was right. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Saturday that Israel was engaged in a long and difficult Alt war, and he vowed that the Israeli military would use all of its strength to destroy Hamas. T. Hat is, if they're not caught with their pants down once again. Joe Biden gave Iran six billions dollars and this is what they do. Watch as aid will continue to flow to Israel in greater numbers while Ukraine continues to be oblite. Rated. It's time for a world war and a realignment of territories the Russians, Israelis, need to be held t. o account for their atrocities in Syria, Palestine and Ukraine. Next news. Interim Speaker McHenry effectively powerless on Israel matters, experts say. NBC News. The global crisis unfolding in Israel is putting renewed scrutiny on Congress, which has been without T.A. permanent House Speaker since Kevin McCarthy was ousted last week. Below are your comments. We can just shorten this headline to interim Speaker McHenry is powerless. But then, that applies to the entire House GOP right now. We are about five weeks from a shutdown, and we don't have a House of Representatives at all right now. The U.S. is more vulnerable to attacks from terrorists, cybercrimi. 
He doesn't even have the power to evict Nancy from her office, but thinks he does. Nothing corrupts like a little power. Imagine if Jim gets more? I shudder to think of Jimmy receiving classified briefings and how quickly they will be in the hands of Putin and Kim Jong. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.